Hey guys. Hey guys. My name is David. My name is Karma. And this is our channel. How we life. Today we just want to take you guys uh, on a little walk with us. Uh, we are on this beautiful property. Um, we're staying at this Airbnb. It's right here. And the property is kind of all of this right here, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's on a beautiful mountaintop and it overlooks this amazing valley right behind us. And actually, if you can see, we'll go up to the top of this little hill here, but you can see the Mediterranean from here, which is amazing. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, we're just taking a little walk. We're actually staying here for about a month. And we came here uh, actually to make, as the thumbnail suggests, uh, the biggest decision uh, that we've made as a couple and as digital nomads. And so as <laughs> some of you may know, Karma is five and a half months pregnant. And <laughs> woohoo! And as uh, super exciting as it is, uh, it was a bit unexpected. So uh, we've obviously uh, had to change a lot of plans that we had, um, which is all good because we were expecting to get pregnant uh, this year in July. So really we're just about nine months uh, ahead of schedule. And uh, so obviously we've had to uh, make a lot of decisions and n the number one decision, uh, to be honest with you, which is the biggest decision we've ever made, is where are we going to have our baby? So that obviously took us down a rabbit hole, right babe? Yeah, we just started researching all of the countries that do offer citizenship by birthright. During our, our initial research, you know, we were trying to figure out where is the best place uh, to have a baby? Because so right now, as a lot of you may not know, uh, we are waiting on Karma's green card for the U.S. And we've been waiting for quite a while. Uh, we're sh we should get it any day now. Two years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, but the thing is, is it it probably won't come in time uh, for us to like go to the U.S. get settled in. You know, we want to we don't want to like a month before we're supposed to be having the baby uh, trying to figure out hospitals and doctors and trying to get comfortable. So we figured, you know what, whether we get it or not, like in the next three or four months, let's go ahead and pick a place and get settled in, get comfortable, find a doctor, get the hospital. And that way it'll be a lot better process for us. And in so doing that, we were like, well, wait a second, why don't we actually try to get a citizen, a second citizenship? out of this kid I mean come on so <laughs> <laughs> so we were like okay that then led us into thinking well, where what's mm. the what's the countries that we can actually do that in and so that's when we reached out to our friend the wandering investor uh, we'll actually link his channel down below he's got some amazing content on second citizenships and investing uh, internationally uh, should really check him out and then another friend of ours uh, called Mikkel Thorup his uh, channel is the expat money show we'll also link his youtube uh, channel down below a uh, lot of great information and he has actually created a great video on having a baby in brazil and so this is actually one of our two options uh, we narrowed it down we had like five or six different countries right i mean we had uh, we were thinking about portugal and then that didn't colombia colombia uh possibly other central panama. american countries yeah panama um and we decided that Mexico and Brazil made the most sense for our needs and for mm -hmm. our specific situation um, and kind of what our goals are as well. And so uh, when we looked at some of the videos that Mike, Mikkel had, uh, it made a lot of sense. And so we kind of basically went through this entire list, basically just pros and cons, you know, Brazil versus Mexico. And there's a lot of pros on Brazil and there's a lot of pros uh, for Mexico. You know, just for instance, uh, for Brazil, uh, what it's basically a lot more visa-free countries over Mexico that you can get and for Mexico for Mexico is that first of all the process is shorter than the Brazilian process to get yeah. the citizenship yeah. and that's actually something that Mikhail talks about in one of his videos yeah and also um, the grandparents of the baby that's born in Mexico can also get the citizenship and for us that was actually a huge plus because yeah. I'm Palestinian with a Jordanian citizenship so as so is my mom so that will like help her be able to travel especially to Europe visa free if she has a Mexican passport yeah which is huge uh, yeah so that's kind of where we're we're at um, and to be quite honest with you we after we kind of did all of our hundreds of hours of research uh, we have actually picked Mexico mm. as our spot that we're going to have our little one. Uh, and so in about a month and a half to two months, we'll actually be heading over to Mexico uh, and, so uh, and getting settled in. 
Um, and we've got a place picked out, we've got a hospital picked out, uh, and we'll actually make a more in-depth video on all of this stuff um, to kind of bring you guys along with us through our experience, you know, why we chose Mexico, um, you know, why actually Brazil might be better for you guys, you know, depending on, you know, your situation, your goals, and, and kind of what you got going on. Um, uh, both are, are great options. Both have the birth tourism or birthright uh, by citizenship or citizenship by birthright. Uh, but uh, yeah, for us, we've chose Mexico and, uh, and we'll definitely be taking you guys along with us uh, during that whole experience and that whole journey. And just to help you guys in case you have a baby on the way, you're thinking of getting a, an additional citizenship, we highly, highly actually advise for it because yeah. it just gives your child more freedom and it gives you more freedom in terms of citizenships and traveling around the world. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, especially if, if you've chosen this life uh, or this lifestyle, mm. uh, you know, as a digital nomad, as a perpetual traveler, as someone who wants to have, you know, be sovereign over their wealth, but not just their wealth, but on their ability to move around the world. You know, this last couple of years have really taught us a lot. So and much. so for us, you know, we want to be able to pass down to our kids, you know, the freedom to travel and live wherever they want. And we feel like having multiple passports and multiple citizenships uh, really gives them that freedom. Uh, and so whether they you know, want to continue to be a U.S. citizen or not, that's up to them. Uh, yeah. But we want them to have that choice and that option. Exactly. And also, actually, I'm going to be making a series for all those moms on the road, just like me, um, about you know what to expect and what to kind of research before you head to a country it's while a you're pregnant. It's a lot. So stay tuned. We're going to take you on this journey. We hope you enjoy it and we hope you find some value in it. And thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.